So today's discussion is going to be about AZ900 examination or Azure Fundamentals as Microsoft likes to call it. So it's a fairly simple examination. It's a fairly simple certification to do. It will check you on your basic competency on Microsoft Azure, whether you know the product or not, or whether you know the basic cloud computing concepts or not. That's what you're going to be tested upon. So that being said, it's a very easy examination. Uh, stays valid for two years in this particular certificate. Um, now, what we are going to do here is that we are going to discuss like three, four different ways of preparing or, well, one of my favorite ways of preparing and how to actually prepare for this examination, how to actually go in and clear this certification exam. So let's just get into it. The first thing that's going to be fairly important is going to be the study material. Okay. The study material, where are you going to uh, study from, right? Uh, there's no need to buy any fancy books, super important. Don't buy them. Uh, there's no need to buy any fancy Udemy courses. Uh, what I'm trying to say is there's no need to buy anything, right? You can pr prepare for it uh, basically for free. It's that easy an examination. You do not need a lot of resources. And the ones that you need are two things, right? First thing that you need as study material is going to be Microsoft's official documentation. Right. I'm going to link this down in the description or in the video somewhere that with what that link is. It's aka.ms slash AZ fundamentals. It's called the AZ 900 basics or AZ 900 learning. Right. So uh, what that is, it's that it's well, it's a few pages of documentation. I think it will if you go through this, it will take you around six to seven hours to actually finish that from one end to another. That would be fairly fairly simple to do and it, it's a pretty good certification so you do not need to buy any books for that for that matter now if you are uh, not really a person who likes to read a lot of stuff right i would suggest that there's a lot of videos on youtube right use youtube as a resource to learn stuff right you don't have to get udemy accounts or you don't have to get anything like that for it something as simple as easy 900 it's uh, actually you can work with it right uh, you can work with youtube in this situation uh, you can watch several several channels are there on YouTube that are going to provide you with the basic. Uh, so read the documentation and from the documentation, what you're not getting, what concepts that you're not comfortable with, just search for them on YouTube, search for them on Google or something like that. So uh, that would be that would be a fairly simple approach of doing things uh, in especially with AZ 900. That's so simple. Right. Moving on. A second thing. Now, you know, with the study material, you know how things work, you know, the theory but you don't know how to do stuff practically because there would be some ex some questions on the exam that there would be some practical uh, uh, portal based or practical questions on the examinations. There could be something like that, right? So how to uh, work around that? First thing, I'm going to link this that you can find labs for Microsoft Azure 900, right? You can just go to Google at the moment. You can just say AZ 900 space lab space GitHub. That's it. That's the Google search that you need to do. and You'll find this link. You'll find this GitHub link with the labs and these, uh, with the labs and these basic demonstrations that you can do. So it's a step-by-step -step guide, right? Uh, just go to Microsoft Azure portal and do that and stuff. So that's how the labs are noted there, right? I'm going to link that below in the description as well if you need that, right? So uh, second thing would be first thing is the study material. Read from Microsoft Docs or read from YouTube. Second is going to be basically just do the labs that are on the github links in the description um, now once you're through with that you may be thinking that how would i do the labs i i don't have an azure subscription you can get a free azure subscription from microsoft for one month you'll get 200 dollars worth of subscription for free you can use it for one month more than enough to prepare for this examination right that's super super important um, now since we are here, right, since we're on the topic, how long would it take for you to prepare for this examination? Realistically, if you do not know anything about uh, cloud computing and have really, really basic knowledge about IT, it will take you around two weeks, right? So for any user, if you're from sales, for, you're not from an IT background, give yourself about two weeks before you take the examination, two weeks to prepare, right? You don't need any prior IT experience. There's no prerequisites for that. Now, if you've been working with IT, you, you know certain different clouds, you can give yourself somewhere from three to seven days or three to ten days, right? That would be a realistic, uh, that would be a realistic enough uh, estimation that how how long it would take you, take for you to complete this stuff, right? What was the third thing? The third thing would be 
since you're preparing for the examination i can't stress this enough since you're preparing for the examination prepare for the exam right see the questions that often come on to the examination see the questions that often appear in the AZ 900 or microsoft examinations nothing can help you more than that so third step is super important uh, you know the labs you know the concepts you know the theory it's it's great right the most important thing that's going to help you to prepare with the examinations it's going to be the practice questions from microsoft right so uh, now that being said no need to buy any practice question no need to buy those fancy dumps that you may have heard of no no need for that right uh, you can just do a simple google search of microsoft as your az 900 practice questions az 900 exam questions something like that right you are going to find ample examples of how the questions on the exam are going to be now uh, a small disclaimer they may not be the exact questions that appear on the examination however those questions are pretty similar to what they would be on the exam. Some questions may even match from the exam. But what it's going to do is that it's going to prepare you for the examination itself. It's going to prepare you for the MCQ structure, multiple choice question structure. That's on the examination, right? So that's really, really important as well, right? Now, you have three different things, three different resources to prepare from. One would be the study material, which is documentation and YouTube. Second would be GitHub. Uh, to do the labs right I would suggest you do the labs and third would be to do the dumps right uh, to do the practice questions that are there in Microsoft Azure now how to do this step by step how do you approach this right what to do first what to do last right like I'm telling you that if you are a totally a basic user if you're totally new to the cloud give yourself two weeks to prepare right to do all this stuff if you have worked on any cloud give yourself somewhere around three to ten days realistically right now how, how I would like for you to prepare now this is one of this is one of the approaches that I personally use and it works for me that's why I'm making this video right uh, I hope that works for you as well right so let's let's approach it this a little logically right first things first study the study material that's going to be my step number one absolutely uh, how to study it's going to be study the study material go to YouTube just get an idea of the concepts that are there once you're through with the concepts once you know the study material a little bit you know it kind of like that what's next next is going to be go to the practice questions now you know a bit of study material you have not done the labs i understand but you know the study material you know the concepts a little bit so do do go to the practice questions that you have there do a hundred practice questions 120 practice questions that you will find in google and what is that going to do for you What's that going to do for you is that it's going to give you an idea that what's important for the examination out of all the concepts that you have kind of studied, right? You have done a skim over all the topics before that you have uh, tried to study all the concepts, but which ones are important for the examinations and how those topics are applied into the examination. That's why studying the practice question goes a long, long way, right? Just in the beginning so that you know what you're working with. Okay. Once you're through with that, with the study questions you can add uh, with the study and practice questions you can add okay this is the concept that i didn't study this is the concept that i should study so it will give you the holes uh, that what you have now the next step would be for me uh, i would suggest that go with the labs after you've done the practice questions after you've done with the study material right uh, so the next logical step would be to do things practically now you know which particular labs are important which particular uh, which particular demonstrations are important, right? Uh, off the bat, I would say, do the documentation, uh, do the uh, networking part of the things, right? Do the networking demonstrations, how to do that. Creating a virtual machine, creating a storage account, stuff like that, that's pretty basic. Storage networking and uh, storage networking and VMs, right? If you want that kind of stuff, if you want to see how that's done, if you don't want to do the demonstrations by yourself, you can check out the other videos on this channel as well, or you can check out some other videos on YouTube, right? My point being, don't spend way too much money on a basic certification like Azure Fundamentals. So don't get Udemy or anything. Don't have to. If you want to, yeah, of course, go with it. Right. So now, what would be the final step? How would you, how would you actually pack this all up finally and finish this all up? Uh, so step four and the final step in this process is going to be that, okay, First of all, you've done, okay, let me repeat the steps that you have done, right? Uh, you have done 
uh, the documentations, you've done the basic concepts, right? Then you study the questions, then you went to the labs. Now what to do next? Study the questions again, right? Go through the questions, understand each and every question, try to figure out what that means, right? Try to uh, see as many questions as possible, right? Uh, they do at least 100, 120, 150 questions for the preparations, right? So, so that no matter how many questions from them, so you increase the probability of you, be, you having seen the question beforehand, right? So that's really, really important. That's really, really key in this situation as well. So that would be my final approach to going for this examination. And this would work for most of the examinations as well, right? Now, how is the AZ-900 examination, if you ask? It's a fairly simple examination, around 40, 40, somewhere around 40, 45 questions on the examination, about two hours. Uh, not a difficult examination at all, a lot of theoretical questions. However, there's some uh, scenario-based questions as well, right? Uh, now, we can make a detailed video about this later on as well, since this was going to be a small guide to the AZ-900, right? Uh, but what do those uh, scenario questions look like? practice questions are going to help you a lot right i'm going to link a couple of uh i'm going to link a couple of pages below right that you can figure out or you can just uh you can just find me on linkedin and you can find me uh, or you can just simply email to me right if you want some more material if you want some more help if you want more resources just email to me and i'll be sure to provide you with the resources right and if you have any questions uh if you have any questions, any queries regarding Microsoft Azure or any other cloud platform or examination that you're looking for, write them down in the comments. Uh, I'll be really, really happy to help. So that's not an issue at all, right? So with that being said, all the best for your examination. Don't stress yourself. It's a very simple examination. Don't spend way too much money. Don't spend too much time obsessing about this exam. It's one of the simplest cloud examinations that are out there. And it kind of has some value as well. So it kind of becomes a must take examination. So all the best and I'll see you soon. Thank you.